Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Android application development tutorial. In this episode, we are going to learn about how to create a selectable menu. So for creating a selectable menu, you need to add a radio button or a checkbox with the menu items. So you can add a radio button or checkbox into the menu item using the selectable behavior attribute. So here in this episode, I am going to show you how to add a radio button into the menu items. So start a new project in Android Studio. So the first thing we have to create the menus. So create a new menu resource file in the menu folder. So right click the menu folder and create a new menu resource file. I name the file as network menu and click OK. Now here we have a menu. So here I am going to add a radio button. So I have to use a group. So here I use a group. So into this group I have to add some items. So add the first item. Provide an ID for this item using Android ID attribute. I name it as ID Wi-Fi. Also provide a title for this item using Android title attribute. Use uh, use Wi-Fi. Okay. Now I am going to add another item with ID ID Bluetooth. and change the title into use bluetooth ok and add one more item with id it mobile data also change the title into use mobile data ok now here we have a menu that contains three items so now I am going to add a radio button into this menu items. It is very simple. So here I am going to add a radio button. So I have to use an attribute called Android checkable behavior. So here you can use three values, single, all and none. None means it does not add a radio button or a checkbox. If you using single option, then it will add a radio button. And if you using the all option instead of radio button, it will add some checkboxes. So here I am going to add a radio button. So I use a single option. So I set the checkable behavior into single. That means here I am going to add a radio button with the each of these items. Of course, you can use this checkable behavior with each of these menu items. So here I use it with a group. That means it is applicable for entire items within the group. You can use this checkable behavior with each of these items. Okay. So now go back to activity main.xml file. Here I am going to add a button. So add a button into the activity main.xml file. Go to the XML version and change the title of the button into network. selection okay also add an on click method for this button using android on click attribute select network okay now go back to main activity dot java file here already uh, here we have already an options menu is available i remove that menu Okay, now here I am going to create that method, on click method for the button, public void, network, selection, we have to make sure that, yeah, network, select network, it is not network selection. void select network 
okay don't forget to add a view class object here so whenever user click the button I have to show a context menu so for creating a context menu we have to override some context menu methods like on create context menu so override the method called on create context menu so in this method we have to create the context menu so for that we need an object of menu inflator and I name it as menu inflator equal to get menu inflator okay so now I am going to inflate that particular menu XML file using the menu inflator object so menu inflator dot inflate r dot r dot menu dot our XML file name is network menu and pass the context menu object okay now I have to display the context menu whenever user press the button so whenever user select the button this method will invoke first I have to register this button with the context menu so use the method register for context menu and pass the view object okay now the button is registered with the context menu so if user press and hold the button the context menu will appear so I have to display the context menu whenever user click the button so I have to create I have to use another method called open context menu and pass the view object so this will make sure that whenever user hold or click the button the context menu will appear okay now we can check it out now I am going to test the application so click the run button okay now the application is available on the virtual device so if I hold the button the context menu will appear or if I click the button the context menu will appear so you can see the menu item contain a radio button so you can select only one item at a time because it is available in a group so you can select only one item at a time now we have to learn how to handle the click events with these radio buttons so for handle the click events of the context menu we have to create another method called on context menu item selected yeah this one on context item selected override this method so here we have to handle each item so here I am going to use a switch case statement to, to handle each item so use a switch case statement so item dot get item ID now we have to analyze each of the item ID so on the first case we have to check whether it is the Wi-Fi network r dot id is id dot wi-fi so in that case first here i am going to display a message using a toast get application context wi-fi selected okay now provide the length for the toast toast dot make it long and finally make the toast visible using show method okay and one more thing if you're using a radio button or a checkbox with a with a menu the radio button or the checkbox is not capable of change its state automatically so we have to change the state of the radio button or checkbox manually so here I am going to change the state of the item so item dot search checked into true okay and finally we have to return true return true okay now we have to check the other two items if the id equal to 
Bluetooth change the message into Bluetooth is selected also make the checkbox into checkable using is checked through sorry it is not checkbox it is a radio button and finally we have to check it out the last item mobile data okay and change the text into mobile data is selected okay now we can check it out so now I am going to test the application again run the application okay now we have the application available on the virtual device so now here I am going to select Wi-Fi now we select Wi-Fi selected and I click the button again now you can see that the previous selection is not selected now that means when each time the menu is created it will automatically override the previous selection so in previous case I select Wi-Fi but it is not selected now so we have to save the previous selection the system will automatically override the state of each menu item so we have to save the previous selection done by the user so for that I have to declare another variable for save the previous selection so here I declare another integer variable int item selection okay and initialize that variable with the value 0 so when I create the menu when I create the context menu I have to check the previous selected item so here I have to create an object of menu item I name it as menu item so we have to get each of the menu item I change this one into item Wi-Fi so before going to change that one so if the user select Wi-Fi I have to set the selected item integer value into what is that variable name item selection that is so whenever user select Wi-Fi I change the value of item selection into 1 ok and when user select Bluetooth I change the value into 2 and finally whenever user select the mobile data I change the variable value into 3 ok so here in this on create context menu whenever each time the menu is created here I am going to select the previously selected item so create an object of menu item here and use the menu object dot find item use this method find item and specify the item id r dot id dot first is Wi-Fi so we have to create menu item object for other two items the second one is item Bluetooth now the ID is R dot ID Bluetooth and the final one is mobile data item mobile data change the ID into ID mobile data okay now according to the value of the variable item selection we have to check each of these item so here I am going to check each each situation so if the uh, item selection equal to 1 that means user previously select the Wi-Fi option so in that case I am going to check the first item item Wi-Fi dot set check into true okay and else if
item selection equal to 2 if it is 2 you shall select the Bluetooth in previous case so item Bluetooth dot set checked into true and the final one is mobile data L save item selection equal to 3 that means you shall select the mobile data option so item mobile data dot set checked into true okay so in this case the system will remember the previous selection done by the user so here is a spelling mistake I'll see if okay so now we can check the application again now I run the application okay now the application is available on the virtual device now I click the button now the context action menu is available now here I am going to make my first selection I select Bluetooth now the Bluetooth is now selected so now again I click the button now you can see that now the system will remember the previous selection done by the user so now I change my selection into mobile data now the mobile data is selected now I click the button again now you can see now the system will remember the previous selection done by the user so this is how we use a radio button with a context menu or a menu so you can use a radio button or a text box with a with a menu by using the by using the selectable behavior attribute in in the menu XML file you can see it here you how to use sorry it is not selectable behavior it is checkable behavior attribute if it if you using it as single it will show the radio button and if you using it as all uh, then it will show a checkbox instead of radio button I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.